what I'm going now to show you very important teachings about the Bible code, how it started, and all the details as it is known, and as you will see now in the site of Professor Robert Harlick from Rendell Center University in New York, clear explanation about the process really of the Bible code. So let us see, this is in his site, and the beginning of the Torah code. The earliest written reference to the equivalent letter sequences is in a comment made by Rabbeinu Bachiai. Rabbeinu Bachiai lived in Spain in the mid-13th century. In his discussion of the first verse in Genesis, he writes a cryptic footnote. If the eyes of your heart will be illuminated, you will find here specially, precisely the code number that I mentioned above. It is encoded into the text in such a way that between each of its four letters lie 42 intervening letters. The wise will understand that this is not by chance, but a clear sign involving the very birth of the world. The footnote is with respect to a remark made in his commentary about four letters, Bet A Reich Dalel. What he means in this remark is that from the first Bet, the letter Bet of Genesis, which is the Bereshit, and skipping 42 letters, which is really the name of God, Anna Bechach, the name of creation, there is a, a, the letter A, and skipping 42 letters, there is a letter Reish, and skipping other 42 letters, there is a Dalet. And he says that this is a secret to the birth of the moon, the birth of the world, being a reference to the birth of the moon. So, Barad, our gematria of letter, Bet is two, A is five, Reish is 200, and Dalit is four, indicating that on the second day, which is Monday, on the fifth hour of the day, and two of four, 204 portion, which is really 1080, divided, as it is known at that time, not second, not minutes, very near now, but 1080. So, the beginning, birth of the moon. These are the words that you see here. So Bereshit, this is the first bet that you saw, which is two, Monday. A, after 42 letters, which is the fifth hour of the day. In the fifth hour of the day on Monday, and Reish is the 204 portions of the hour, was the Mola. This is the Mola, the verse of the moon. And of the moon. So the birth of the moon was on Monday, the fifth hour of the day, and two and four portions. So this table showing the Barad ELS equal letter sequence with skip of four to two at the beginning of Genesis. The cylinder size is 42, and there also appears ELS equal letter sequence of the verse beginning, which is very shit, and verse of moon, verse of the moon. All this comes here. Then 
פרופסור אריק ניסה את תור הקוד דוט יו.אס, קריס מור אינטו דיס מטריאל אנד סייז אה פולינג, אין זה אור טרדישן, אין 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 שט בוק, אין זה קוד סוד אי ביר, אי ביר, זה סיקרט אוף זה אי ביר, ליפירס, ליפירס, אין זה 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 פרס ניו מון, אקרד את אוור פורטין, of day six, the counting of the hour nominally begins 6 p.m. the previous night, which is the beginning of the next day, hence hour 14 of the day six is 8 a.m. the morning of day six, the meaning of the bird can be understood by its gematria for דלת פור, ריש טוונדרד, A5, N2 פור, it means day 2, hour 5, plus 2 or 4 parts of the hour. In the oral tradition, it is taught that it arose in the mind of God, one primordial ear, which is 20 lunar months, prior to creation, to create The world, one lunar year prior to the first new moon occurred on day two, it was Monday, hour five, the fifth hour of the day, plus two or four parts of the hour. From this knowledge, a knowing that the average length of the lunar cycle is just over 29.5 days, it is possible to Compute the average length of the lunar cycle that has been taught in the Jewish tradition from the time of Mount Sinai. Here is how the calculation goes. Very, very important to follow it properly. So multiply the truncated 29.5 days per lunar month by 12 to get 3.54 days. 54 days per lunar year, since 350 is heavily divided, divisible by sevens, starting from day two hours, I mean Monday, fifth plus two or four parts of the hour, and going for 350 days brings us to 14 is for day, 8.811 hours, or 4.3657296 days. One lunar year is then 35.4.367296 days. Divide this by 12, and we obtain the length of the lunar cycle as taught in the Jewish oral tradition since the time of Mount Sinai. 354.3671296 in 12 months, which is 29.153564, it means the months of all the ancient culture, which general L the lunar cycle to be 29.53 days, the 29.530594 days was most accurate. NASA in 1996, a satellite observation plunged into sexual mechanics, mass meat, mathematics, improved this to 29.530588 days. The difference between 29.530094 days and then 29.530588 days is about 0.5 seconds. Rabbi Chaim Michael Dov Weissmendal, the Rahman, Working without computers during the 1940s and 1950s found what he regarded as 
sign significant ELS equilateral sequence and ELS patterns. Some of its work was later published by the students in a book towards Chemed after his death. In 1976, Rabbi Shmuel Yaniv began working on Torah course, specifically with respect to religious themes. In the next table, we ask the question, when did Rabbi Aniv begin Torah course? In Hebrew, this question, Matai Achel Yaniv called. So this is really what we are going to show you. But in fact, the most important is about the birth of the moon. And this is exactly what Rabbi Weimel Weizmann found. It's the Barad, Reshit, Molad, Ayarech, all this. So let us see now what Professor Rips found in the Torah, in the Bible code, what Rabbeinu Bachir revealed. So this is in Hebrew, but I explained to you. So this is Rabbeinu Bachir revealed the Bible code, the Torah code. So what he found, Rabbeinu Bachir, Gila revealed a sofen, the code which is Tchilato, it is in the beginning, it's beginning, it's just in Genesis, in Bereshis, unbelievable. All this came in one book, three, which is Leviticus, and in two chapters, not even, not in the full chapter, for chapter 17, verse 8, to Chapter 18, verse 18. So, unbelievable finding of Professor Ips. Now, in fact, if you go into the full table, so he found here long skip, but amazing quotes, quotes. So, what you saw before about Navin <clears throat> Bachir revealed the code in the beginning of the Torah, and those codes are Dilugim codes in Hebrew. Now here Professor Ips analyzes what are, where they are found in the book, Leviticus, I mean. So he said this is a Rabbeinu, the word is minimal, and Gila is minimal, the code is the third minimal in the Torah. So the most important is this outstanding finding of Rabbeinu Bachyei about the code. Now what you see is from my Hebrew book, which I did with Professor Ips and Robert Aralik, and to darkness. And then we have a lot of material in the book, Torah Codes, A Glimpse into the Infinite with Professor Robert Taralik, Professor Leo Rips, Professor Taralik from the Rental Center University in New York, Professor Taralik from the Hebrew University, and myself, Rabbi Gleason. So in this book, you can find all these things, very, very important. And in the site of Professor Taralik, .us, you can find more. So now, as I said, verse well, going into it, it is un unbelievable. The Jews knew many hundred years ago, yeah, already from Sinai, the exact second of the verse of the moon, which NASA found only in 1966, and the different is a split second. It's a very, very important table. And then I go to show you the continuation of this, what Professor Aralik wrote about the finding of the code.